time for the Late Show with Stephen Colbert. On the late night talk shows, Stephen Colbert took over CBS's Late Show after David Letterman retired. Larry Wilmore began hosting Comedy Central's Nightly Show, which replaced The Colbert Report. Trevor Noah now hosts The Daily Show. 17 years is the longest. Which Jon Stewart gave up in July. And James Corden took over CBS's Late Late Show. Spider? Girl, come here! Fox girded up its primetime empire with the rip-roaring success of its drama empire. Streaming outlets like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and Hulu all increased original content. Newcomers included the Spanish-language Univision Now. And CBS said it'll air a brand new Star Trek series on its streaming service in 2017. Caught fudging his own stories, Brian Williams lost his anchor seat on NBC's Nightly News, replaced by Lester Holt. Is he in? Viewers said goodbye to Madman after seven seasons on AMC, capturing the style, angst, and misbehavior of the 1960s white-collar class. TLC pulled the plug on 19 kids and counting after it was revealed that Josh, the eldest of the Duggar clan, had fondled four of his sisters and a babysitter as a teenager. No one has ever seen me but me. Gender reassignment was a big thing in 2015 no TV me, with scripted shows like Amazon's Transparent and unscripted shows like Becoming Us. Let's be honest, it certainly is. And of course, the E! Network had its reality series, I Am Kate, which which documented the former Bruce Jenner's transition to Caitlyn Jenner. We're talking about repealing Obamacare. After controversial remarks about Mexican immigrants while announcing his GOP presidential run, Donald Trump ended his gig as host of NBC's The Apprentice. Since then, he's become a sought-after guest on talk shows, newscasts, and even Saturday Night Live. I am all for it. Donald Trump was also a ratings magnet for the presidential debates. The first GOP debate had 24 million viewers, the highest-rated broadcast in Fox News Channel history. We have 14 people that are confirmed dead. And TV news was present and shared much of the grim news of the year, from the recent mass shooting in San Bernardino, California, to deadly attacks in Colorado, Charleston, South Carolina, and so many other places, including Paris, where terror attacks killed 130 people and wounded hundreds more. Laurie Neff, The Associated Press.